Hey everybody! I wanted to make a quick video showcasing my newest acquisitions in the invertebrate world. Uh, these are Baby L1 Stage Tinodera sinensis Chinese Praying Mantis and they just hatched out a few days ago and I am hoping that they will grow up nice and healthy. I hatched two Othecas that I purchased over the winter and I let the majority of them go outside but I kept uh, a bunch of them from the first egg sac and I kept a single specimen from the second egg sac. The specimen from the second egg sac actually chose us, well my girlfriend specifically, she was helping me to uh, release them into the yard, the babies that had hatched out, and that particular one decided that he didn't want to go anywhere. He latched on to her and he wouldn't he wouldn't give it up. So I decided to keep that one as well uh, due to the tenacious nature <laughs> and such. And that one is actually my girlfriend's, technically. So uh, that one is actually in this container here. And he's about a week younger than the other ones here. So he's a little bit smaller right now, but I'm sure he'll catch up mighty quick, uh, especially due to my power feeding schedule. I do power feed them, especially when they're this size, because I really would prefer them to be a larger size. It's just easier to care for them when they're a couple of instar molts larger. Uh, it's easier to care for them in terms of cleaning, and it's also easier to feed them. Uh, at this size, they have to eat rather small prey, so I'm feeding them using these what they call flightless fruit flies, although these particular ones in these containers are to some degree flighted. And it looks kind of nasty in there, but you know, that's because they're living, breeding, and everything in there, so that's why it looks the way it does. But I am hoping that they will increase in size relatively quickly, and then I can start feeding them more, more standard prey that I would give my other invertebrates, you know, like uh, mealworms. Uh, in this, in their case, they do they love flighted insects, so I would give them um, flies and moths, which can be either purchased or captured. I don't recommend wild caught prey items for you know tarantulas, scorpions, um, long term pets that you're going to have. Uh, in the case of these guys, they only live for a season even when they're the most healthy and so it's kind of very often it'll be easier to simply feed them uh, from the yard if you are able to do that. So it's probably what I'll do once they get a little bit larger. Um, I do feed crickets to my tarantulas and other things, scorpions, etc. that I have. I don't recommend feeding crickets as a staple diet to, to mantids. I would only do that as a, I would feed crickets as a occasional treat for them. Um, it has been somewhat studied that they do, to some degree, some, there's some reason that they don't necessarily react well with them in the long term. Uh, with mantids specifically, and I'm not really quite sure why. I don't know if anyone really is sure why, but feeding a diet of exclusive crickets almost inevitably results in there being health issues for the mantis down the road. So, with that being said, I'm going to end this video. It appears my camera is deciding not to focus the way I want it to, um, so that's a little bit annoying. But in any case, I'm looking forward to uh, documenting their growth, and I will uh, see you guys very soon. Thanks for watching.